guys, this is Garby Allen, and you're watching AEW Insider. What's up, peeps? Welcome back. As always, I'm your host, Lee Benson. Thank you so much for joining us for our YouTube edition of the AEW Insider. We got a great show, as always. Remember, if you want to see how you can win a Series 1 Chris Jericho AEW action figure, just stick around to the end of the show. Speaking of AEW, they had a great pay-per-view this past Saturday. I really, really enjoyed it. Let's get to some AEW news. AEW. Monday's episode of Being the Elite was one of the very best in a long time. The funeral scene was epic. They had a funeral for Broken Matt's loyal drone, Vanguard One, and I cannot even begin to explain how funny the segment was. Plus, as a bonus at the end of the episode, the villain Marty Skull returned. As you know, he used to be a part of Bullet Club, and before Ring of Honor offered him that lucrative contract, he was definitely AEW bound. I don't want to ruin it, but he did say, hey guys, I'm back. Which makes no sense to me. I mean, I understand he's got to have freedom to work there, but he won't be there full time. So we got to wait for Dynamite, hopefully, or at least some future episodes of Being the Elite to find out what the villain is up to. They also had behind the scenes of the Stadium Stampede match and so much more. It is definitely a must-see episode, peeps. Matt Hardy has compared Darby Allen to a young Jeff Hardy. He said... I do see that Jericho actually said that to me early on before I went to AEW, Hardy revealed. After meeting Darby and speaking to him off camera, he has so many qualities that my brother has. He really has the spirit of it. Hey, this is who I am. If you like me, that's cool. If you don't like me, I don't give a shit. He is carefree in that mentality and he is a cool cat that doesn't get shook. He very much reminds me of a young Jeff Hardy. I have to agree, since being in AEW, never mind before that, Darby Allen does some insane stuff. And definitely, after Saturday night, he dropped off the top of that fucking ladder with his skateboard in hand and landed on another ladder and the floor. He's definitely got some Jeff Hardy in him. On the WWE. Well, a big NXT star is getting a call up to the main roster. And it's none other than the original bro, Matt Riddle. He fights Thornton this Wednesday with Kurt Angle being the special guest referee and we could see him on the main roster as soon as Friday on SmackDown or even Raw the following week. If you ask me, he is definitely more suited for SmackDown. Now other big name wrestlers like Goldberg and Brock can stop acting like they don't know who he is and in a few years, shit maybe next year, he could be main eventing with one of the two. There are rumors that they don't want to put him on Raw because of his beef with Brock Lesnar backstage. Who knows, peeps? Only time will tell. But congratulations, bro. Shayna Baszler is not happy that Natalya, Charlotte, and Nia Jax are having a triple threat number one contender match to face Asuka for her title. She tweeted, Unfortunately, I didn't have relatives to climb the ladder for me. So all I can do is keep winning until I get myself there. And if you ask me, she does have a very valid point. We know that Italia is related to the Hearts, Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair, and Nia Jax is The Rock's favorite cousin. So being in WWE with competition like that and politics backstage definitely has to get annoying for a lot. Last night on Monday Night Raw, Apollo Crews got his due. He won the United States Championship on Raw. That cat is a physical specimen. It is insane they do not push guys like him. He is built like a brick shithouse and he can soar like a luchador. Push him to the moon, WWE. Well, it looks like Drew Gallick and WWE have came to terms on re-signing him to a new contract. They put him back up on a website last night. He is a huge talent and he would have been a big loss to them, so I'm glad they worked something out. Speaking of contracts, NXT champion Adam Cole's contract is up this August or early September. Recently, his real-life girlfriend, Dr. Britt Baker, said she would love to see him back with AEW with her and his old friends, which do include the Bullet Club, a.k.a. the Elite, and a lot more that's over there. I mean, he was treated tremendously since he started with WWE, but love and loyalty can take him in a different direction. I know WWE will offer him a effing boatload of money to stay, but will it be enough? We will just have to wait and see, baby. Random Wrestling News 
We all know by now that 22-year-old Japanese star Hana Komura took her own life. Some more details have been revealed about her death, how she did it, what have you. Before taking her own life, she tweeted, Nearly a hundred frank opinions every day. I don't deny that I was hurt. I'm dead. Thank you for giving me a mother. It was a life I wanted to be loved. Thank you to everyone who supported me. I love it. I'm weak and I'm sorry. I don't want to be human anymore. It was a life that I wanted to be loved. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Bye. Dave Meltzer then reported, She sent out the tweet or tweets or whatever. It was in the middle of the night and no one in Japan knew about it because they were all asleep. Kari Sane and another Japanese wrestler who were actually over here in the United States, somehow they seen it and they called the office. They called Jungle Koyona and Jungle Koyona went to the house. But by the time that Jungle Koyona got to the house, it was too late. The death was actually 4 a.m. She had ingested hydrin sulfide. So that was the cause of death and not much else is going to be released because their mother does not want much more release. So from here at the AEW Insider, we do say Godspeed, young angel. We do hope you find whatever you were looking for on the other side. We're very sorry that this life and the people in it failed you. Now, Pete's, remember, I've been posting a lot of great stories, rumors, what have you, on our Facebook and Twitter. I don't like to put them in a podcast or the YouTube show because I don't want you guys having to sit through it twice. So definitely check out our Facebook under the AEW Insider and our Twitter under the AEW Insider 1 as in the number one. Also, our podcast is under the AEW Insider. If you don't see me posting on here, I'm definitely posting on social media and I'm definitely putting those podcasts out there. Now on to the Chris Jericho action figure. You have to be a subscriber of our YouTube channel. If you're not, make sure you do that now. Beside that, including this video, you can pick any video. All you have to do is like, share, and comment. So be a subscriber, pick any video, like, share, and comment, and boom. As soon as they ship the Series 1 AEW La Champion action figure, it'll be getting shipped right to the winner's house. Remember to show us some love on all major podcasting platforms, Facebook and YouTube under the AEW Insider, and on Twitter under the AEW Insider 1, as in the number 1. I'll see you peeps soon. Ciao.